Good afternoon everyone and welcome to day 60 of the 90 day live chat. My name is Frank Brewer, I'm a clinical psychologist and the director at New Path Psychology. Today I would like to talk about seven strategies that really, really, really work for overcoming or in overcoming depression. So there are many, many strategies and uh, depression is of course a complex presentation and has many causes and um, sort of factors that could contribute. But the seven things I would like to talk about uh, and explain a little bit uh, have proven to be effective for many people. And uh, much has to do with uh, becoming more active, proactive, um, because being inactive really maintains the problem and that has nothing to do with the cause of the problem but it has to do with um, yeah nothing is going to change if if people remain sort of inactive so Factor or step number one would be exercise. For instance, if you exercise for, say, three hours a week, that's already a lot for some people. But uh, moderate exercise has proven to be very effective uh, in reducing and alleviating depression and has the effect size of an antidepressant and you may be surprised to hear that but it in fact that is true on on average so you can start with a with a quick walk or, or just a 15 minute walk every day um, whatever it is everything that you do is certainly better than nothing Step number two is support of family and friends. So what I mean by that is not that uh, friends and family should uh, consistently uh, hold your hand, but uh, just to be in company of somebody who is supportive of you is, um, is helping, is helping with symptoms, alleviating symptoms. And um, I mean, with family, it can be a little bit tricky uh, to ask them for support, particularly when you have a difficult uh, relationship with them. Um, but also with friends, it means um, you don't be a burden to them. You don't want to be a burden to them. So it's not about uh, that you consistently talk about problems to them. Um, it's really about being in their company and um, that helps a lot yeah? because we, we have an essential need to uh, belong to, to someone or to a group and uh, yes we are social beings by nature so step number three is of course therapy psychological counseling psychological therapy because um, that's really the place where you can sort of um, identify all the factors where you can clarify um, what, what's really important and also to process uh, emotional um, sort of unfinished businesses which are really at the core of, um, of really any clinical problem including uh, depression so therapy is is the place where everything comes together and of course what, um, the things that i've already mentioned would be part of the counseling process um, yeah counseling is probably from my point of view uh, the most important part but uh, the, the other parts are definitely important as well step number four is finding fulfilling work because 
it's not very helpful if you spend a lot of time uh, by yourself um, which gives you just too much room to think about things to overthink to ruminate to dwell upon the past and so forth so uh, finding work that is fulfilling is super important uh, on, on the other hand so if, if you have a work that you're not happy with it means that you spend a lot of time um, in in a place that you don't want to be in so it could be actually an idea even or to engage in even uh, some form of unpaid work which is better than just staying at home watching TV um, or doing literally nothing um, it's certainly better to have a position like this yeah? unpaid work voluntary work um, definitely definitely something to consider so step number five would be a practice a consistent practice of relaxation meditation mindfulness yeah because um, now yeah um, my picture of this is uh, for example when you look at at the heart how how the heart works yeah it works and then it has a break so it's important for us uh, as a whole to to have a have frequent breaks and i've talked it or i've mentioned that in other vlogs um as well and um the the ability to relax is really like a muscle that we can we can train and the more you train and practice the more effective um you become right I hope that makes sense and the good thing is uh, we don't always have to sort of really meditate we can do mindful mindfulness practice in all sorts of way yeah you can go for a bushwalk and uh, a mindful bushwalk um, you can even do mindful dishwashing or having a mindful shower being mindful whilst having a shower all these kind of things um, certainly help um, the ability to be in the present moment and to relax so tip number six step number six is nutrition i mean if you put junk food in your body there's no surprise that the out outcome is less than favorable. So to have a relatively healthy diet that yeah, is not based on junk food helps your depression as well big time. So and the last tip or the last step is my favorite topic, medication. So if you've tried all the other steps for let's say a month or two and they are unsuccessful in terms of um, they weren't able to reduce the uh, depression to a um, satisfying level then try medication yeah um, it's true for some for some people medication really works and that's okay but not it's not the first line of treatment here yeah? um, and it's not recommended as a sole treatment either yeah? so if everything else doesn't doesn't uh, fully work then it's totally fine to try some medication talk to your doctor try something out something it's required sometimes it's required um, to, to try different um, types of medication um, and different dosages that's all good but it should really uh, be yeah the last uh, thing to consider because at the end of a day it is a crutch right sometimes we need a crutch to walk uh, but it's only a crutch um, and not the main thing 
So that's it from me um, for today. If you have a question, if you would like to comment, pop that into the comment box and I'm more than happy to respond to your comments. So yeah, that's, uh, I said that's it from me for today and I get back to you for day 61 of the 90 day live chat. Thanks for watching and bye for now.